Uh, what is the purpose of the dryer? Yes, so how many types of pumps are there? What kind of pump are we going to use as a ballast pump on board ship? What is the purpose of gland packing? Hi everyone, Jai Matadi. This is Arnab Ghosh sitting with me and he's the first one to go with the interview package. Already I have taken his mock interview for the non-technical part. I have given him his suggestions as well. Now let's start with his mock interview for the technical part and let's see how he fares. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm prepared. So, Arnab, chalo, main, I'll give you a, a jackpot question. Let's see. I'll start this way. So, tell me, yes, Arnab, sir. which topic is your strongest Re- topic that I should start with? Refrigeration. Refrigeration. Okay, fine. Chalo, let's start with the refrigeration. So, my, I'll ask you at least two to three questions of refrigeration. Some are going to be very basic and then I'll go on. So, if I go in a room, closed room and I open a refrigerator, okay, yes, what sir. will happen to the temperature of that room? just after one second and what will happen to the temperature of the room after 20 minutes sir after just a second the room temperature will be cold and after 20 minutes the room temperature will be hot because when we will open the refrigerator door the compression will continuously running eventually the room will be making hot and eventually because of the compressor continuously running the room will become hot itself Okay. That's what. So, is way to me, I guess the room will, the first thing, the, what you said for one first second, may, it will become slightly hmm. colder. It will not become cold. Abhi, ek second no, 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 slightly cold. Yeah, yeah. Slightly cold. Slightly cold. Slightly. Okay. Next yes, question sir. is ki, why will the compressor keep running if you open the refrigerator door? Because, sir, it will not be able to reach its desired set temperature. While the refrigerator door is closed, after a certain period of time, the compressor will shut off because it will be able to reach its desired temperature. But when the door is open, it will not be able to reach its desired temperature. So continuously the compressor is running to able to reach its desired temperature. Because of that, the compressor will be running and the room will become eventually hot. Okay. Rather than become and uh, Arnav, what device is there in the refrigerator which cuts in or cuts off the compressor? Uh, sorry sir, I, right now I was not able to... Get the question itself. As okay, I'll, know the I'll repeat it again. No worries, I'll repeat it again. <laughs> See, you told me when you open the refrigerator, your compressor keeps running. Thermostatic expansion valve. Sir, thermostatic expansion valve. Okay, chalo. Uh, I'm not satisfied with the answer. Definitely, I'm going to share the answer. Okay. Okay, sir. Next question. What is the temperature of meat room, fish room and veg room on board ship? Sir, meat room temperature is minus 16 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Fish room also minus 16 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Wage room is 3 to 7 degrees Celsius. In between. This okay. method. Just slightly change karo. Make it minus 18 to minus 20, which is desirable as per the MLC. More desirable. Okay. Okay, sir. Definitely. Okay. What kind of refrigerant gases are used on board ship and why? HCFC, hydrochlorofluorocarbon. Earlier, we used to use CFC, chlorofluorocarbon. Because of the ozone depletion potential, it has been banned nowadays. It is compulsory to ban because it is making a small hole in the layer called stratosphere. Through that, the ozone gas is reaching the earth surface, which is very harmful. So nowadays, we are ozone gas is reaching CFC. inside, which is harmful. No, sir. The stratosphere, the layer which is there, that has become damaged because of that damage itself. That rays are coming in the earth itself, and that is because of the CFCs, chlorofluorocarbon. And nowadays we are using HCFCs like R404A, R134A, R4416A. This are you sure? We are using HCFCs right now. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Have you read the Dreamers package properly? Long back, sir. Long, days. Long back. So this is. See, you need to revise. Uh, need can to you draw the circuit diagram of the refrigeration system for me right now? Straight away, show me. Yes, sir. Okay, draw. Definitely, sir. Okay, draw. Sir, all the components are the four components only. Uh, draw all the components. I'll give you two minutes. Okay, draw at least basic core components. Zalo. Let's see. Yes, sir. I'll draw the basic four components and I will told by my mouth what are the remaining components. Okay, that will be draw. draw and show me. Yes, sir. So till the time uh, Arnab is drawing guys, I just want you also, you all guys who are watching this video thinking it will help you. You guys also try to draw the diagram yourself and see ke bhaiya, then let us compare and see whether I can help you with the knowledge or not. Let's see. Okay, show me. Sir, evaporator. 
ओके कंप्रेस कंप्रेसर ओके कंडेंसर ओके थर्मोस्टैटिक एक्सपेंशन बल्ब एंड सर इन बिटवीन इन कंप्रेसर देयर आर टू मोर थिंग बिफोर कंप्रेसर वी हैव लो प्रेशर कट आउट एंड आफ्टर कंप्रेसर वी हैव एचपी कट आउट आफ्टर कंडेंसर वी हैव रिसीवर एंड ड्रायर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव सॉलिनॉइड बल्ब आफ्टर दैट वी हैव थर्मोस्टैटिक एक्सपेंशन बल्ब after that we have evaporator okay fine uh, what is the purpose of the dryer and what is the dryer made up of dryer is made up of mainly silica gel it will absorb the, all the moisture in it so that the gases will pass through the thermostatic expansion bulb and what if we do not have a dryer what will happen then so the moisture will be passed so the efficiency will be drop down itself why because the main purpose of the evaporator coil is while the gases is, will go on it will absorb all the heat and turns into the liquid form itself and if we already have moisture it will affect the performance of the refrigeration and if you did not absorb the moisture in the dryer itself that's why sir not very satisfactory answer so chalo aage badhte hain so now refer system is over let me move on let's go to the pump section pump it okay sir yes sir so how many types of pumps are there so two types of positive displacement pump and uh, rotodynamic pump in okay. rotodynamic pump there are axial pump and centrifugal pump in positive displacement pump there are reciprocating pump which are piston pump plunger pump diaphragm and rotary pump there is gear pump and vane pump okay great uh, what kind of pump are we going to use for our main engine lubeil pump and why centrifugal pump because centrifugal pump we need a lot of lubeil it's around 13000 to 14000 liter so the flow will be more so we are using centrifugal pump for the main engine lubeil okay main engine lubeil pump because we need more amount of flow for proper circulation yes sir more okay. amount of flow okay yes sir okay. uh chalo isi mein puchte hain what kind of pump are we going to use for as a sludge pump on board ship uh positive uh, reciprocating pump reciprocating pump mm, okay What kind of pump are we going to use for HFO heavy fuel oil supply pump or circulating pump? Gear pump, sir. Gear pump. Okay. What kind of pump are we going to use as a ballast pump on board ship? Centrifugal pump, sir. Fire and GS pump. Centrifugal pump, sir. Okay, great. Chalo, uh, I have a good question to ask. Uh, yes, sir. On suppose if a centrifugal pump is running, on what factor? Hmm. does the motor amperage depends does it depend on the pump pressure or the flow flow sir good good now har interviewer ka they have their own pet answer question so this can be one of my pet questions are definitely asked mujhe samajhne ke liye and if it's a positive displacement pump then the motor amperage pressure. depend upon flow or pressure pressure okay. pressure sir fundamentals clear hai theek hai name a few kind of valves that you think you will find on board ship Yes, sir. Gate bu- gate valve, globe valve, butterfly valve, needle valve. Have you heard about gland packing? Yes, sir. What is the purpose of gland packing? Yes, yeah, sir. Like the shaft is connected to the impeller itself, and there is a slightly gap itself for moving the shaft itself. Uh, to uh, to seal that thing itself, gland packing along with the latten rings are used so that the whatever the liquid is inside will not split the outside so gland packing is used for mainly for the sealing of the shaft and the volute casing itself okay so if your uh, gland packing is damaged what will happen so gland packing will if is my gland packing is damaged one thing can be happen is the my shaft will vibrate more another thing whatever the liquid is churning inside it will come outside itself because the gland packing is damaged Do you think can be a motor amperage also can in, increase itself because of the vibration? If it pump efficiency can be dropped down. Definitely, this discharge is much more. Pressure will double be over. Thoda thoda pani leak karta rega. Pressure, ha, discharge pressure will be less. That's yes, what sir. That can be a possibility if it is profusely yes, leaking or badly leaking. Okay, fine. Yes sir, yes sir, definitely. Okay, चलो ठीक है. Which is better, gland packing or mechanical seal? Sir, gland packing is cheap. compared to mechanical seal mechanical seal we are using where you are using oil slew oils and all and gland packing is cheap suppose gland packing is da- loose itself we can tighten it with the simply and mechanical seal we have to change it itself so cost effective by the kind of owner gland packing is better because they want to spend less money now yes. you have impressed me 
now you have impressed me matlab i did not expect this answer you given it beautifully but you in college taught about the mechanical seal as well sir if i say you honestly in college there is the lockdown has happened and totally online okay, okay, no worries online, online classes was going okay i understand i understand theek yes. hai because yes, lockdown to the bahut se cheeze rehti hain i understand okay yes, next sir, yes, uh, let's move to uh, oily water separator uh, tell me something about oily water separator yes sir the oily water separator we are using reciprocating pump to pump the sludge in the oily water separator and it has contained two stage to First pump stage the, the sludge or bilge water to pump the bilge water to the oily water separator we are using positive displacement pump reciprocating pump piston pump and in the oily water separator contains two stage first one is the baffle plates and the second stage is the coalition filter and after those st- stage of purifier the oily water will be passed through a 15 ppm odmcs oily discharge monitoring control system if it the ppm will be below 15 it will pump overboard if it will be above 15 it will again pump to the bilges and in the two stages a capacitor will be mounted on the up, upper side which will sense the oil when there is oil so that it will be pump on a, another tank itself okay uh, see i can ask you a lot of questions but you better go through the yes, what is the procedure of what is the purpose of baffle plates do you know how it, yes sir ha chalo batao baffle plates sir like the it is a kind of gravity separation when the water will mount a shift on the downward side then the oil will be move on the upward side due to the baffle plates of the structure and the coalition filter will suck all the oil and it will float in the upward side and the water will floats on the downward side chalo arnab tell me something about purifiers चलो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्यूरिफायर्स डू यू नो अबाउट अल्फा लेवल एलकैप ओनली वन आई हैव नोन ओके चलो ठीक है यू टॉक्ड अबाउट एलकैप व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एलकैप अल्फा लेवल क्लैरिफायर एंड प्यूरिफायर व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय क्लैरिफायर एंड व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय प्यूरिफायर आ सर आई विल स्टार्ट विद द प्यूरिफायर प्यूरिफायर इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच प्यूरिफायर इज अ मशीनरी which will separate oil from the sludge and water itself while clarifier will separate oil from the sludge itself i didn't get that's you. the basic can you repeat again Puri- suppose i have got yes, a diff- impurified yes. oil which i want to purify yes, in a purifier and a clarifier yes, sir. right so now differentiate yes, what sir. will happen in a purifier and what will happen in a clarifier so in purifier if you want to uh, purify oil it will purify it will remove the sludge as well as water from that oil itself and while it will be in clarifier it will only remove the sludge from the oil itself it will not separate the water itself okay very the basic good. difference is that so now this i got it okay so uh, i do not know uh, what is the purpose of a gravity disk let's see whether you have been taught this in college or it's a part of your syllabus or not gravity disk uh, the gravity is create a interference between the oil and the water itself so what will happen if i increase the diameter of the gravity disk oil will flow from the water side okay what will happen if i decrease the diameter of the gravity disk water will flow from the oil side okay uh, You have bought the achievers package. Have you gone through those description that I have talked about? I'll cap everything. Did you go through that? So, but what's it? But you, but see, that has been made basically for high level engineers, so fourth engineers, third engineer. They needed more. Yes, sir. But even people like yes, you were able to grasp what I am talking about little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Because वो जैसे तुमने imagine किया I could get that one. ठीक है, fine. चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं. चलो tell me uh, what is desludging? and why does the motor amperage increase during desludging sir so, desludging because of the two thing desludging occurs due to the bowel closing water itself and the centrifugal force when the yes sir uh, during the desl- while the purifier is in running condition two thing kept the purifier in a stable condition the first thing is the bowel opening closing water and the second thing is the rotational force gravitational force that is the centrifugal force while the desludging the bowel opening water will drain the bowel closing water itself and the purifier will be not be centrifugally balanced itself itself that is the reason why it will try to achieve the desired rotation but as the purifier is getting desludged it will not be able to reach the desired 
rotate RPM so that the motor amperage increase to attain its desired RPM. ये तुमने कहा से पढ़ा एचीवर्स अगर यार तुमने समझा है ना एचीवर्स पैकेज से then I पहली बार मैं बोलूंगा कि I have done a good job. See, uh, this is something that I, I would say I'm really proud of. कि मतलब मतलब I have rarely seen even fourth engineers, third engineers answering this question well. They do not have those fundamentals clear. And you at this level as a naval architecture student, you are answering this question and you are able to imagine bowel closing, bowel opening. So you, good job, Arnav. I'm happy. चलो I'm happy. Thank you sir. And praise God. भगवान से दुआ करना कि तुमसे क्वेश्चन पूछा जाए वहाँ पे and you are able to answer. Good job. ओके okay, आगे बढ़ते हैं तो लेट्स स्टार्ट अबाउट आईसी इंजन सो टेल मी व्हाट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू स्ट्रोक इंजन एंड फोर स्ट्रोक इंजन फॉर एवरी वन फॉर एवरी पावर स्ट्रोक इन टू स्ट्रोक इंजन देयर इज वन रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ क्रैंक शैफ्ट एंड फॉर एवरी पावर स्ट्रोक इन फोर स्ट्रोक इंजन देयर इज अ टू रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ क्रैंक शैफ्ट द बेसिक डिफरेंस इज दैट एंड अदर देयर आर लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस इफ यू गिव आई कैन एक्सप्लेन देयर आर अदर लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंसेस इज देयर please go ahead like yes sir like two stroke engine is a cross set type of engine four stroke engine is a trunk piston type of engine two stroke engine is a slow speed engine four stroke engines are the uh, medium to high speed engines two stroke engines are the uses cavan sports while four stroke engine use inlet valves uh, two stroke engines have a lighter flywheel because there is only one revolution of crankshaft and four stroke engine have a heavier flywheel as it has a two revolution of crankshaft to balance that force itself because of that it has heavier flywheel a uh, two stroke uh, engine can burn low grade of fuel comparatively to four stroke engine okay that's what so. can can a four four stroke engine be reversible like two stroke engines sorry sir i don't know the answer properly i was not able to give this answer okay. i will definitely find out this answer Okay. Again, smile. Four-stroke engines are irreversible. Yes, Two-stroke engines yes, are reversible. That is why okay, your sir. main engine on board ship is uh, two-stroke type, so that it can be reversed. Reversible. Add S turn, you can easily give. Yes, Whereas yes, four-stroke engine is non-reversible type. So, वहाँ पर even if you have there are no there are some ships where I've got we have got four-stroke engines fitted as main engine, but there they have got okay. clutch mechanism, gear mechanism change कर देंगे. Copied? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. चलो ठीक है. Uh, आगे बढ़ते हैं. अब अब एवरेज आंसर ठीक है चलेगा व्हाट डू यू नो अबाउट टैपेट्स एंड हाउ डू वी टेक टैपेट्स क्लीयरेंस चलो टैपेट क्लीयरेंस इज यूजुअली टेकिंग अ फोर स्ट्रोक इंजन एंड टैपेट क्लीयरेंस इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द वाल्व स्पिंडल एंड द रॉकर आर्म एंड द प्रिंस द हाउ वी आर टेकिंग टैपेट क्लीयरेंस इज व्हाइल द टेकिंग द टैपेट क्लीयरेंस द फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू आइसोलेट द इंजन सेकंड थिंग वी हैव टू डू द लॉक आउट एंड द टैग आउट मेथड सो दैट नो अदर पर्सन कम एंड इन On the lubal pump and the water pump itself. The third thing we have to see that the piston is in the compression stroke in whichever cylinder we have taken. That thing is to be done by the flywheel method, crankcase method itself. By opening the crankcase, we can see that whether the piston is in TDC or not. After that, we have to take the tappet clearance with a screwdriver. If the tappet clearance is more, we have to tighten the lock nut. If the it's less, we have to loosen it. Like how we have we are taking the tappet clearance. Okay, how did you say that you will know that this particular unit of TDC or BDC through the crankcase? Any other way? Crankcase method. Fuel pump method is there, but I was not able to Any yeah, other gather way? more knowledge. Any other Fuel way? Fuel pump method. No, sir. This only. I On the flywheel, there is a marking through which you can see, and for that you have to. Arun, you have done a fabulous job. Uh, there is a priceless yes, package sir. coming very soon, or yes, sir. that you have to earn. You cannot buy. So there is no cost yes, sir, yes, sir, you to earn that package. Yes. Uske under you will getting complete generator DCA videos, a lot on IC, uh, ME engines, a lot on IG system and all those things. So, बहुत सारे fundamental yes, logic. Good job, good job. चलो ठीक है, ठीक बोला. चलेगा काम चल जाएगा. अच्छा, what will happen if your tappets are more? If yes, sir. If the tappet clearance is more, valve will open late and close early. And if the tappet clearance is less, valve will open early and close late. Okay, and uh, what harmful effects of tappets being more will you will it be affecting the engine? How will it be affect the engine if the tappets are more? So the basic thing is that the improper combustion. If during the time the valve will open late itself, the proper fuel will be not injected, and lots of fuel will be accumulated, resulting in the knocking and detonation phenomenon. Improper combustion will take place. Proper fuel will not be injected, or proper fuel combustion will not take place. But proper fuel combustion will not take place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's go to the main engine. 
स्टार्ट करें ओके व्हाट इज टीबीएन टोटल बेस नंबर एंड इट्स यूनिट इज मिलीग्राम ऑफ केओएच प्रेजेंट इन पर ग्राम ऑफ ऑयल पर पर ग्राम ऑफ ऑयल यस सर 100% श्योर यस सर डेफिनेटली ओके व्हाट इज द टीबीएन ऑफ सिलेंडर ऑयल यूज ऑन बोर्ड शिप एंड व्हाट इज द टीबीएन ऑफ क्रैंकेस ऑयल यूज ऑन बोर्ड शिप एंड व्हाट इज द टीबीएन ऑफ जनरेटर ऑयल यूज ऑन शिप यस सर टीबीएन ऑफ क्रैंकेस ऑयल इज 6 TVN of cylinder oil is 70 and TVN of auxiliary engine is 40. Acha are you sure the TVN of cylinder oil is 70 these days? I was not able to I was not sure but before I was studied like TVN of cylinder oil was 70 because of the yes. sulfur and all. Why 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 was the TVN on a higher side for cylinder oil? Yes sir I can explain like the oil which are using it contains sulfur when sulfur is combustion is taking place sulfur from sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide and when this sulfur trioxide and sulfur trioxide reacts with water sulfuric acid is formed so to neutralize this acid uh, highly high tbn oil is used so the damage in the uh, main engine will not take place in the liner itself not take place to neutralize those acid highly tbn is used so what is that damage called because of this sulfuric acid What is the damage on the liner called? Close leafing, clover leafing, clover leafing. अब गलत हो गया. That is called cold corrosion. Cold corrosion. Cold corrosion. Cold. If you are not sure about something, don't say because then you tell me that you don't remember no clover leafing. What is clover leafing? Or you are telling me ask me clover leafing. So when you are not sure, Arnab, never say a word. Just for the sake of okay, saying. Okay, sir. Sir, sorry, sir. No, but that is good to say that because when you say clover leafing, you are telling me, sir, I don't know clover leafing. Me, I don't know. Unnecessary you're telling me, right? Otherwise, you're doing a yes, fantabulous job. What is scavenging? A very basic question. Then, why is scavenging required? Second question. Chalo, batao. Scavenging is a phenomenon where fresh air is admitted into the cylinder to remove the exhaust gas, as well as proper fresh air is admitted for the combustion to take place. Uniflow scavenging is we are using in the engines. Okay. And why is scavenging required again? Sir, say, for the, uh, yes, sir. For any combustion to take place, uh, we need fresh air into the cylinder. So, for that reason itself, we are admitting the fresh air into the cylinder for the proper combustion to take place. So, फिर उतना ही add करते जितनी ज़रूरत ही. Why are we increasing the scavenge pressure? Why more and more air added inside? Sorry, sir. I'll put, I'll I'll put the question once again. See, yes, scavenging is कि चलो इतना air डालो कि just the exhaust gases have been removed, fresh O2 content has come inside. Now bring in the fuel and let us burn it together and let the combustion take place so that power is generated. But yes, why sir. do I want more and more scavenger to go inside? Sorry, so sir, that, I am not able to. So that I can burn in that same liner more amount of fuel because if I can burn okay, more sir. amount of fuel, I can generate more power. More. Right? Okay, sir. Copy it. If you have liked this video and you want to watch the non-technical part of Arnab's video, please go through this video and you watch there. You will definitely learn something new. Thank you very much.